usage. We have now discovered the usage and services and it's time to get some further inspiration from our artist Nicole Revish. She will show you how Shinefinity is a perfect match when it comes to colouring wigs and hair pieces and to use it for coily hair services. I'm Wella Design Team artist Nicole Revish Curtin. You can also find me on Instagram at Nicole Revish. And today I'm going to be doing a transformation on a lace front wig using Shinefinity. For a flawless and clean application when working on a wig of any kind, it's important that you have a nice stable foundation. So what I'm going to be doing next is securing my wig with T-pins. When coloring wigs and weaves, it's really important that you work with a very clean canvas. So what I like to do, as soon as I have the wig in my possession, is give it a good cleansing. Before coloring your wig or your extensions, it's also important that after cleansing, make sure that you let the hair dry completely. I love to just let the hair dry overnight. By letting the hair dry overnight, as opposed to giving it direct heat from a blow dryer, you really get an opportunity to preserve the texture and make sure that you haven't damaged the cuticle. Sectioning is key. Make sure that you map out your plan and find out exactly where do you want the color to live. So I'm pretty much gonna be sectioning up from the nape area to the top of the head with my application. I'm securing each section as I go to ensure a clean application as much as possible. I will be using wider foil versus what you're probably used to working with. And again, that's to ensure a very clean and flawless application. For the first step of the transformation, I'm going to be using Illumina 9 stroke 59, equal parts with 40 volume, and Blonde Dorplex for the balayage portion, one to two with 20 volume. Shinefinity is a zero lift semi-permanent color glaze full of shade options, which is awesome for me when I'm working on clients or a wig or hair pieces, whether it's a blonde or brunette or redhead, the shine is amazing and the condition of the hair afterwards feels better than it did before. Saturation is so important, making sure that you're getting your color and your lightener completely through every section of the hair gives you the most flawless result. Chose 40 volume as my developer with Illumina 9 stroke 59 simply because we're working on a wig. It's not a live head of hair. So maximum lift is so important. By letting each section fully develop until the end of processing time allows me to make sure that I have a beautiful base color as a wonderful backdrop for my balayage with Blonde Dorplex. I chose Illumina 9 stroke 59 because I wanted a nice rosy effect to my light brown chocolate base. Blonde Dorplex in 20 volume is what I used for my balayage and I only wanted to lift to a level nine. By lifting to a level nine still allowed me to have a peachy, soft, coppery glow of a highlight against that nice chocolatey backdrop. Before applying your Shinefinity Glaze, it's really important to shampoo and prepare the hair, especially if you've done a balayage with Blonde Dorplex. After cleansing with Color Motion Plus Shampoo, I followed up with Color Motion Post Color Treatment. The Color Motion Post Color Treatment allowed me to have a great canvas to work with before I apply my Shinefinity Glaze. I chose Shinefinity Glaze 7 Stroke 34 because I loved the coppery peachy tone that it gave with my mahogany chocolate base. Shinefinity is formulated with no alcohol, no ammonia, 
No silicones and no parabens for a clean formula. Shinefinity is a long-lasting color glaze true to tone with amazing shine. Thank you for joining me today for my transformation using Shinefinity Zero Lift Long Lasting Color Glaze. We're looking good together.